Good morning, happy campers, family and friends, if I have any left, and my few faithful followers. Today, we're preparing a really quick dish. I've only got a half an hour before lunchtime, and I'm doing my chicken romano. It's a recipe I sort of cribbed from YouTube, added my own finishing touches, and reduced it to a one-pot recipe. So, welcome to another episode of Cooking with Cooks. I hope you enjoy it. Cheers. I have everything I need right here. Chicken, onion, pasta, olive oil, salt, cheese, cream cheese, and a good wok frying pan, deeper than the last one I used, so hopefully it'll be adequate. Right, to get cracking, I'll turn my plate on to about medium hot. I'm going to chop up an onion. I'm first going to brown my chicken now with a little olive oil. Right, I've saved you the trouble. I've sliced up the onion, crushed a little garlic with salt on it, chopped up a half a chili and some spring onion. But first I'll put on my chicken that's been diced and sliced. Let that brown a bit. That's about a half a pound of chicken breasts diced into small pieces. To that I add my onion. And the spring onion. And one finely chopped chili. Just stir it gently and let it all brown. You normally have a roast on a Sunday, but today I felt like doing something a little different. I hope it's nice. Browning nicely, so I think I can add the last bit of garlic now. That doesn't need to brown very long. A half a teaspoonful of chili powder. A light sprinkling of paprika. Add a teaspoon of my ground ginger and garlic paste. Turn the heat down slightly. I don't want to brown too much. Or oh, burning, God forbid. Add a generous amount of oregano, about a teaspoonful. Good heat teaspoonful of basil pesto. That mm, look good. Now I can add my tomato paste. I have some pomodori crayon. Tomato paste, which I've used before, it's got a lovely flavour, it's rich tomato paste. Oh it should taste like sun dried tomatoes. And I've got a dish of pre cooked onion and tomato from a 
the previous session, which I shall add as well. Now, I let that heat up slightly and I add medium fat plain cream cheese, which I've been saving for just this occasion. it in as nicely as I can. I add a good generous teaspoonful of salt because I'm going to put pasta in there as well and that just sucks up the salt. Now in the other recipe they cooked the pasta separately and then added some pasta water and then some more pasta water and then the pasta itself. I think that's such a waste. Why not just add everything at once? So I shall do just that. Hmm. Add about a half a teaspoonful of white pepper, one of my trusty old standbys. and a couple of grinds of black pepper. I like to add a bit of full cream jersey milk as well. I don't want to use too much cream with its high cholesterol, but this jersey milk should do the trick. Right, after about five minutes of gentle simmering on quite a low heat, I can add my two cups of boiling water to do my one cup of pasta. One. Uh, just about two. I think that's enough water. Now I shall add one cup of heat pasta. I'm using little elbows, you can use penne, macaroni, as you please. There we go. And I shall cover it and let it simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes until all the pasta is al dente. Right, I think that's been simmering beautifully. All the pasta is al dente. Give it a stir, turn the heat down. And now we'll grate about a cup of mature cheddar onto that and the actual recipe upon which this dramatic presentation is based I used parmesan, about a half a pound of parmesan cheese which at the latest going rate is about 150 rand with the cheese on a dish that costs about 30 rand ah. No accounting for it. Brings me back to my old story that I always recommend these wonderful foods for health and for quick preparation with none of the ill effects. But all these things are the most expensive. Smoked salmon, smoked trout, <sighs> asparagus, broccoli. Parmesan cheese, olive oil by the gallon. Well, there you have it, dear family and friends. Another lovely light repast by 
for Gourmet Guru, a.k.a. Cubs, a.k.a. Clive. I hope it's delicious. It looks okay. Ooh, it's turning into a blustery day outside, just like winter. Well, dear friends, I haven't had a taste yet. I suppose I should taste it online. And I'll let you know in the comments below whether it's worth all the effort. So, until I meet you all again, it's cheerio, chin chin, arrivederci, thoughts sense and bottoms up. And if I don't see you through the week, uh -huh, I'll see you through the window. served it with fresh green avocado salad and real asparagus. And yes, it was absolutely scrumptious. <laughs>